Hey guys, what's up? My name is Brandon. Welcome to week 7 of the OPL. <laughs> that was kind of awkward. Um, we are here to battle against... I do not know how to pronounce your name. Azazel? Azazel? <laughs> Azazel? I'm not sure how you pronounce it. But um, if you can let me know in the comments, that'd be nice. Uh, but... We're going up against the coach of the Dawn Guard Du Blades. Your strikers are back, and uh, we're ready to to go now. He has a very very threatening draft. Uh, the biggest thing that well, the biggest things that I'm very scared about are actually like four of his like freaking um Pokemon. Uh, I'm I'm very concerned about the Zygarde, the Clefable, the Raikou and Feraligator and maybe even a bit of the the Necrozma and Miltank as well. So Yeah, pretty much just All around terrified of this split. We got a, a team that hopefully can pull out a win. So um, Yeah, we're going to actually uh, Give you guys a recap of the team and I'll tell you why I wanted to draft these guys. So um, and I think I'm actually running the, uh, wrong spread on my, hold on, I need to see, I need to see, like, some calcs for this. What the fuck? That's level 100. Okay. Alright. That's a problem. That's a problem. So, we are going to be bringing this team here. So, yeah. Up first, we have our Snorlax. <laughs> That's not a Snorlax. Up first, we have our Snorlax. Um, adamant nature with thick fat. Uh, super bulky now. So it's got rest, rest, sleep, talk, body slam, and earthquake. And uh, it's just there to tank hits, tank special hits, especially from that uh, Clefable, uh, which honestly it walls to be honest. Maybe a little bit of the Raikou as well, unless he's a shiny bird and has uh, Aura Sphere. Um, let's see. Um, and maybe wall necrozma out as well unless photon geyser targets the physical side which it probably will but up next we have no balls the hippowdon sassy nature with sandstream leftovers got ice fang earthquake slack off and stealth rock um pretty much just there to set rocks up and maybe dent the uh zygarde so yeah that's pretty cool up next we have our yachi berry uh, Garchomp, uh, Ceruse the Garchomp with Dragon Claw, Earthquake, Sword Stance, and Poison Jab. Uh, as long as we live a hit from a, uh, Choice Scarf or Choice Specs Raikou with, um, HP Ice, then we should be good. So, um, HP Ice only does 39% minimum, so we should be good on that part, as long as we don't, uh, recklessly use it early. Up next, we have our uh, physically defensive uh, Mega Scizor with uh, Impish Nature, Technician, Scissorite, U-Turn, Bullet Punch, Roost, and Knock Off. Basically there to tank hits and um, provide some utility. We gotta be careful of Necrozma and Raikou possibly running Hidden Power Fire. And Clefable's definitely gonna be running Flamethrower or Fire Blast or something of the sort. Maybe uh, Miltank even running Fire Punch is an option, but... Hey, it's what it's. Well, I don't know, but anyways, up next we've got no, the Milotic, uh, bold nature with Marvel scale. Uh, it's got flame orb with scald, ice beam, recover, and haze. Uh, it's there to get rid of uh, uh, stat changes. Uh, and like though it can't switch in safely, Raiko, uh, Raiko's calm mind, Necrozma's sword stance, um, uh. For Alligator's Dragon Dance, Clefable's Calm Mind, and possibly Zygarde's Dragon Dance as well. And last but certainly not least, we have our Utility, Choice Scarf, Tapu Koko, with U-Turn, Thunderbolt, Dazzling Gleam, and Hidden Power Ice. So, let's get into this battle, and um, yeah, let's see what we got, let's see what we got. And uh, I'm actually kind of, oh fuck, 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 hold on, hold up, hold up, hold up. Ah, uh, damn it. We're gonna have the, uh, the usual, um, battles, uh, thing. It doesn't really matter since you're going to hear, um, let's see. Oh, he didn't bring Necrozma. 
What the hell? He brought Mega Pidgeot over it. Oh my goodness. He brought Mega Pidgeot over it? Um, let's see. What else? What else? What else? Um. Okay. Interesting. Alright. He brought Mega Pidgeot over it. What else? He has Vaporeon over... He doesn't... He didn't bring Raikou. Oh, that's big. Oh, that's big. Oh, that's big. That is huge. He brought Vaporeon over it. Um, okay. What exactly do I want to lead with? Um, uh, I might just want to lead with... Uh, he didn't bring Clefable either. <gasps> okay. I might want to just bring... He brought Sculpeed. Maybe... I don't know what he wants to do right now. Oh fuck, I pushed it. I pushed the damn thing. How many seconds? Oh god, 30 seconds, okay. Scolipede, Scolipede, where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? There you are. Um, What do I want to lead with exactly? Maybe he's expecting me to set up rocks. If that's the case, then his counter to that would be uh, alligator. So... I'm gonna lead with uh, Coco to possibly scare him out. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. So, calcs are all set. Calcs are all set. I told him GL. Okay, good luck. Alright, let's see what he brings. Let's see what he brings. So, we bring out Coco first. True Moo. So, Mil Tank? Ah, he probably brought this in to, to set up rocks. Hmm. How much would an earthquake do to this, like, from this thing? Let's see. Let's see, earthquake? Hmm. Not much, actually. Let's see. What if we put in 250? Nope, that's not that's not it. Let's see, 252 and adamant. Ooh, earthquake is doing over half. I'm probably just gonna set up. I'm just gonna go for U-turn. Okay, so he probably expected that. Hmm, that looks like physically defensive. I don't know, judging by that, I'm, I can't tell, really. He looks like, he might be specially defensive, but, hey, you never know. Um, let's see. Maybe I should just go to no balls here and set up my own rocks. Because, what fighting coverage does Miltank get? Hmm. He gets Brick Break, he gets Focus Punch, he gets Hammer Arm, he gets Power Up Punch. Dynamic Punch. Like, anyone's gonna run that. Maybe, I don't know. But, I think our best option is to go into... Um... He, didn't have, he doesn't have a Ghost Type either. What? I'm probably just gonna go into maybe Snorlax or hit Poudon. Hmm. I'll go to Snorlax because it's not likely he's going to bring any fighting type coverage. If he does, we can rest that off. He does go for Earthquake. Okay. Oh, I should probably write this shit down. Okay. So, Miltank. I'll write them in as they come into the battle. So, Miltank does have Earthquake. And judging by that damage, let's see, judging by that damage, for one, this thing sets a level 100, my god, um, I don't think he's, uh, offensive. Maybe he might be, but if he is, then tanking it. <laughs> now, no one can really take a body slam, really. Maybe he, he might want to switch here. He might want to switch into something that can take this thing on. 
Um, the only problem is I'm not sure what he's gonna switch into. I'll just go for body slam right now. I'll just go for body slam. He does withdraw. Okay. Train. Scolipede. Scolipede. Look at that. Look at that shiny, by the way. Shiny Scolipede is actually fantastic. Oh my god. I mean, Scolipede is frail as hell, but holy god, I did not expect that. <gasps> perfect, perfect, actually perfect. Oh my god. Perfect, that's perfect, because he can't set up like a speed boost and then baton pass it to someone. That's perfect. Oh my goodness, that's exactly what we needed. Into Feraligator. Okay, he definitely brought this in because he has superpower. Now, what I'm going to do is go to Milotic because Milotic walls this thing. This thing is physically defensive. Let's see how much... Oh, he sets up a Dragon Dance. Okay, alright, alright, I see you big dog, I see you big dog. Alright, now I do kind of, oh, even plus one, he doesn't do that much. Um, do I haze or recover, or scald? I'm gonna haze, I'm gonna haze, that way I can get rid of the, oh, he has earthquake. Whoa, that did a, a, a surprisingly big amount of damage. She's life orb. Wait. Sheer force prevents life orb damage. Torrent? Torrent with life orb. With... Dragon Dance Earthquake. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. Um, I'm gonna Scald. He has no one to eat up a Scald unless he goes to Vaporeon, which has Water Absorb. Catfish, There, that's the Vaporeon. That's gotta be, yep. Alright, good play, good play, good play, good play. So the Vaporeon does have Water Absorb. That way we know that. Let's see, Vaporeon, Water, Absorb. Now the question is, what is he going to do now? Because he can't exactly do anything, can he? I mean, the only thing I can think of is Witch Passing, but that's really it. He might Toxic me, he might, um... Yeah, he can't really do anything. So I don't know why you brought this in. I'm just going to recover. What? Okay. Wish? This is rather interesting. This is a very interesting playstyle. This is very interesting. Um... Hold on, let me see. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what you want to do. I don't know. I don't know what you want to do. I'll stay in and click uh, Ice Beam. Who's that? Oh, we might hit this thing for good damage. We might even freeze it if we're lucky. Damn, that actually did some decent damage. So Mega Pidgeot comes in. Okay, 
I've never really faced a Mega Pidgeot, so I need to know what this thing even does. Huh. Let's see, he can pack U-turn, maybe. Hyper Beam can surprise Rotom Wash. It can get Hidden Power Ground. Could he run Hidden Power Electric, though? Huh. He might set up a Tailwind, actually. I'm gonna Ice Beam again, because I'm not sure what he wants to do here. Okay, he Mega Evolves. You know what he might do? He might actually go for Giga Impact. Maybe. I'm not sure. <laughs> His attack stays the same. Never mind. There's no way he's gonna do that. Okay, Hurricane. Here I am. Coming like a hurricane. Mmm, big damage, big damage, big damage. I don't exactly understand this playstyle. I don't know what he's gonna do, so I'll just recover. Hurricane, okay. Oh my god! Alright, maybe I overestimated my Lodic there just now. Okay. Alright, you know what? This gives me a good opportunity to go into Coco here. And obviously, since he's not no no Pidgeot, no Mega Pidgeot is ever gonna stay in on a freaking Tapu Coco. It's scarfed, by the way. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna U-turn. I'm gonna U-turn. I'm gonna U-turn and see what he does. Or he stays in. Wow, I did not expect that. <laughs> okay, if that's the case, then I'll just go to Snorlax. This thing is a pain in the ass, oh my god. He has Heat Wave, okay. Did he think I was gonna go into Scizor just now? Just gonna click body slam again because why not? He U turns. So is he run I think he's running the, the standard set. I think he's running the standard set. Well like what would he switch into? Like his best switch in would be Zygarde, and even then. He doesn't know if I have Ice Punch or not. So we'll see, I guess. Also, maybe the Voltron. Okay. <laughs> of course, the Zygarde shiny. Okay, Aura Break. Now I need to know how much is a banded. How much is a banded? Uh, Thousand Arrow is gonna do to Snorlax here. Um, oh wow, Outrage is actually doing a lot of damage. Hmm. So, what if I switch into Scizor here? Then his best move would be Thousand Arrows. Okay. I'll probably just go to... Uh, or how much... What does... Uh, does Hippowdon take the hit well? No, he doesn't actually. What? Um, okay. I'm gonna go to Mega Scizor here. I don't know what he's going to do. I'll switch into Scizor. To be honest, Scizor really isn't that important to the matchup. Unless we really needed like some sort of priority. So let's see what he's going to do. He's going to Dragon Dance. Oh god, that's terrifying. You know what's scary is that we have no Haze user whatsoever. Big yikes, you know that? That's a big yikes. Yeah, that actually is a problem. Oh my god. I never realized how much of a problem this is going to be. So 
So he's Dragon Dance. Which, that is honestly kind of ridiculously terrifying. Earthquake. I ate it up, but... Weakness policy? Okay. How much does a bullet punch do from that range? Did it knock off crit just now? I think it did. He's holding a weakness policy. What? Hold up. So he was carrying Earthquake. Dragon Dance. Alright, um, how much- oh, U-turn does more. Probably just gonna U-turn. Earthquake again, okay. Okay, we lived it somehow. Are you serious? He actually lived on 1 HP. Well then. That's the case. I have to get rid of this thing. I can't- I have to reveal that I'm scarfed now. I think I have to reveal it at this point that I'm scarfed. I have to reveal it. Yeah, I have to reveal it. I have to reveal that I'm scarfed. I have to reveal that I'm scarfed, cause... There's no way I'm gonna beat this otherwise. So, I'm just gonna- I just clicked U-turn, that's all I did. Why wouldn't he pack Thousand Arrows, though? That's really interesting, why would- Thousand Arrows has a little less power, okay. The Zygarde's dead. And the Scolipede's dead as well, right! Okay, so we ain't doing bad. We didn't even get to see what type of Scolipede it was, what the hell? Should probably get this off as well. Anyways, what is what would he want to um, swap in here? Hmm. Maybe we we can. Uh, no, you know what? I'm gonna go to Snorlax right now. If he sends in for Alligator though, that might reveal he has superpower. That might reveal he has superpower if he goes into a uh, for alligator here. Hmm. I'm doing this very late at night. I'm sorry for the lighting. So what does he want to do? Considering, actually now that I think about it, considering he's thinking about it, he, he probably doesn't have superpower on for alligator. Like, now that I think about it, hold up, let me search up. Light Feraligator. Feraligator. Let's see. He boasts Liquidation, Ice Punch, Crunch. Okay, so he does sometimes run Superpower as in a standard set. Which is still, honestly, a little terrifying. Because Superpower... Superpower from a... Dragon Dance for Alligator will do, survey says, 79 to 93% to Snorlax here. Which, if we set them to level 50, oh, 81 to 96 now? Oh, wow, okay. That means he's going to- oh wow, yeah, that's- that might just kill. That might just kill. His max roll is 257. My god. But since he's thinking about it, I don't think he has superpower. I think we got this uh, game in the bag. Yeah, he can't do anything. He can't do anything. 
I'm gonna click Body Slam. He might hurricane me if he gets the um uh, oh. He heat waved again. You realize I'm thick fat, right? My god. Literally got squashed. Hmm. I think his entire team actually loses to Snorlax. Considering he doesn't have superpower on uh for alligator. I think we got this game in the bag. Yo! I think we actually got this game in the bag. Hmm. Wonder what he wants to do though. He can't timer stall, obviously. It's like 40 minutes left in this match. What does he want to do? Exactly what does he want to do? Reptile. Back into the Feraligator. Alright. I'm still going to play it safe. I'm still going to play it safe. And then switch. Maybe? No, no, no. I, I don't want to do that. Because if he clicks Earthquake. Then Coco's gone. I was thinking of switching to... Uh, okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna click rest. If he clicks superpower. Oh, he goes for dragon dance. Huh. See, I was predicting him to. You know what? No, I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, oh lordy. That might be a problem. Oh, shit. Fucking hell. I clicked Body Slam when I meant to go f Oh my god, that's a problem. Oh my god, that's a problem. That is actually a problem. We might actually just lose to this thing. I'm Maybe I just threw the game. I think I just threw the game. I think I threw the game just now. Yeah, I think we lost. Um... Wow. I think I got outplayed just now. I'm gonna sleep talk. Let's see what he does. He goes for liquidation. That's killing. Oh, that's gonna. That's that's Snorlax gone. That's Snorlax gone. Ugh. Yeah, that's a problem. That's that's a problem. I think we actually died to this thing. Hmm. Alright, I'm not the best at math off the top of my head, but we have to hope that Thunderbolt not okay, we have to hope that not only Tapu Coco outspeeds, we also have to hope that Thunderbolt kills this thing. Come on. Come on. Yes! Oh my god, we're saved! Oh my god, we're saved! We are saved! We are saved from a sweep! Oh my god! Oh my god, that was terrifying. Oh my god, that was terrifying. He knows I'm scarfed now. He knows that I'm scarfed now. He knows that I'm scarfed now. If he set up another dragon dance, I would have lost. If he set up another dragon dance, I would have lost. Oh my god. Biggest misplay on that on his part. I know that's his biggest misplay. Alright. I'm gonna save... I'm going to save Coco right now because I know he's probably going to click Earthquake here. If he doesn't click Earthquake, then he's probably clicking Body Slam or Ice Punch then. Because I'm going to switch to Hip Pout on. Ooh, that was a hasty decision just now. Oh my god. That was a hasty decision. Oh my goodness. I was saved. I was saved. I was saved. Oh, all right. Sandstream is coming in. It's clicking Earthquake again. All we've seen from this uh, Vaporeon, though, we've only seen Wish. That's it. That thing's apparently Leftovers as well. Probably should mark that down as well. So, I don't know what else he has. I'm just going to set up rocks now. I'm gonna set up rocks. We'll see if he has Ice Punch now. If he has Ice Punch and freezes me, then... I don't know. I 
don't know. I really don't know. He's probably gonna click Ice Punch here if he has it. He does, okay. How much does that do? Ooh, decent amount, okay. All right, now that we got the rocks up, that's a lot of residual damage that you're gonna be taking. We didn't even need to... Wow, I was terrified of that Zygarde and for Alligator before, but now I'm very calm. I'm gonna slack off. I'm gonna slack off now. Hmm. Hmm. If you really think about it, Miltank's really fast for being a cow. For being based on a cow of all things. Okay, how much does Miltank take from an Earthquake from a Hippowdon? Well, from my Hippowdon at least. Huh. I'll click Earthquake. Let's see, how much does Earthquake do? Okay, Ice Punch again. Whoa, chill. What? I mean, he had to get it eventually. He had to get it eventually. See, now I actually have to hope that I get the, um, the, uh, the thaw here. And I have to click slack off now. Because how much does Ice Punch do again? It does, like, about 60 points of damage to me. I think he's, he might be like, yeah, that's what it looks like it is. I think he's, he, if he's not adamant, he's probably jolly. I'm going to slack off. I have to click slack. I have to click the slack off again. Oh my God. He keeps doing 60 points of damage. I have to hope that I can thaw out. I have to hope I can thaw out. I have to hope I can thaw out. I have to hope that I can thaw out. I have to hope I can thaw out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, no balls. Come on, hip pout on. 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 Un- like, unfreeze. Thaw. Come on. Are you serious? <sighs> oh boy. Yeah, he has a hundred speed. What the hell? Yeah, this is a big problem. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. Because this thing has surprisingly good defense. So, Hippowdon's gonna go down, which is obviously very unfortunate, but we're gonna go into Garchomp here. And we're gonna set up. We're gonna set up to plus two. Because we have Swords Dance. We have Swords Dance. We have Swords Dance, because I know he's gonna click Earthquake or something. Let's Swords Dance here. Ice Punch. There's a Yachi Berry. Now we have to hope that we don't freeze. Okay. Good. I think we got this in the bag now. Earthquake this thing. It's earthquake this boy. Somehow, somehow I was thinking Yachi Berry has. This is the ideal uh, battle for a Yachi Berry. And my luck has paid off. He actually brought Ice Punch. And he didn't freeze with it. Although he did freeze on one of my Pokemon, which is kind of unfortunate. So. Yeah, Earthquake kills, hopefully. Wow, he actually lived it! But it's okay, he's gonna die to the rough skin anyways. 
<laughs> okay. All right. That's all right. Garchomp dies, but Miltank dies in return. And uh, now we can just send in Coco because he really has nothing else that he can do right now. He he just told me GG over um, Discord. Um, we're gonna click Thunderbolt now. So let's see. Let's see Vaporeon and you wish support. Oh, actually. Wow, he actually he he gets ninety nine point one percent to live on. Why? <laughs> he got scald though, so that's fine. All right, that was good. That was a good game. I will say, good prep on um <laughs> on your part, man. Uh, I just don't know how to pronounce your name, Azazel. I have no idea, but good prep on your part. I did not expect the uh, Ice Punch Mill Tank and, or Earthquake on Mill Tank, really. I didn't expect Earthquake on uh, Feraligator either, to be honest. Um, I'll save this just in case. And let's see, what else did you bring? You brought, okay, so you brought uh, Zygarde. You didn't bring uh, uh, the Fable. You brought Skullipede. Uh, Mega Pidgeot was standard. Um, I think Feraligator was standard, Miltank was not standard, definitely, and I think Vaporeon was standard. All around, very good prep on your part. I also didn't expect the weakness policy, um, Zygarde either, and, uh, I thought that was pretty interesting, but I do want to know, how would that work? I do want to know, like, how does that work? Because, uh, to be fair, I'd never used the weakness policy before on any Pokemon ever. So, yeah, someone's gonna have to teach me how to use a weakness policy, but, uh, yeah. Any case, in any case, good game to the Dawn Guard De Blades. We pulled out with a 2-0, just barely winning. And uh, a misplay on his part cost him the game, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to share your support, hit that like button for me down below, give me a thumbs up, and I don't really care. But if you do, subscribe. And if you want to support your Soul Star Strikers, then be sure to hit that like button, like I said. And uh, yeah, we're going to get the heck out of here, and I'll see you guys. Hold up. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.